All right, guys, it is the last Pop Goes the Weasel of 2023. Oh, not the last one forever, though. Not forever. Okay, all right. People well, would good. be crying yeah, be right worried. now if that was They true. would. They'd be sad. There'd be people lined up in the parking lot like, I want yeah. this show back. No, no, please don't. Yeah. Stop. That's what they tell me all the time when I sing out loud. They yeah. go, please don't. Stop. They love me. Oh, that's please what people don't. say when I sing, too. Stop. <laughs> Also, I have to give you a quick shout out. You and Bill last week for yeah. our Christmas little special. You guys killed it. Well, thank you. Did you put the Santa suit away yet? or? Well, actually, the chief of police wore it the next day when -uh. we gave away uh, all those toys in Hanahan. It was so awesome. Oh, God, he even the wore the live five hat. Oh, yeah. And, and, and I got to say, there was one special moment in that where this kid was so quiet and he got a little gaming device that he had asked for. So we identified 10 kids and then, you know, they tried to get everybody what they wanted. Yeah. And this kid who was quiet, he was so shy. I mean, his house was full of police officers oh. and, and and all of a sudden he opened this thing and then he went to the chief who had on the live five Santa hat and the jacket and just wrapped his arms Aww. around him and gave him the biggest hug ever. I'm like, dude, that had to be the best hug ever. He That's said, so short cute. of my 10 year old, Aww. best hug ever. That's so, so yeah. Cute. So thanks to Cruise Chevy and Cruise Subaru, our Weasel's Kindness Crusade, huge success. And we're going to make it even bigger next year with the Hanahan Police Department. Same so for that. Good yeah, for yeah, you yeah, guys. Yeah. Thanks for all you're doing. All right, let's recap the year in country music. It was a huge year. It country. really was. I mean, it. this is... You know, like if you watch the country music documentary with Ken Burns, there are periods of time, because it all goes in a circle. Mm -hmm. This was one of those circle years where we got a new batch of artists that just changed country music, because it changes about every 10 years. Mm -hmm. You know, the last time I think it changed was probably Florida Georgia Line. Mm -hmm. They brought in a new sound, and then it does that for a while, and then now Morgan Wallen and Hardy and those guys mm -hmm. kind of brought in a new sound, and Morgan Wallen, had just the biggest year of his life. I mean, he played the Hanahan Amphitheater two years ago, wow. and now he's selling out everywhere. You can't get you. tickets for yeah. his show. And then the fact that he released an album with 36 cuts on it, and 34 of the cuts made it to the Billboard Top 100 over the summer. I mean, and that's all genre, not just country. 34 Morgan wow. Wallen cuts were on the Billboard Hot 100. So. Wow. Why he didn't win more awards, I don't know, hmm. because he owned country music, but like he said, he was upset about it for about five minutes and then realized that he made something like $9.4 million and went, you know what, I'm all right with <laughs> I'm it. Fine. I'm fine. I'll be all right. It's okay. Yeah. But you know who won a lot of awards? Lainey Wilson. Lainey Wilson. Yeah. It was her big year. Well, they're saying like this is the year of the woman. Yes. Between Barbie movie and mm. Beyonce Taylor Swift. and Taylor Swift yeah. and then Lainey Wilson just owning country music. I think they called what uh, what Beyonce and Barbie and Taylor did the uh, she economy. Mm. That's what that's the term they're using she economy. Like so uh, power to the women, yes. women of power. Killing it. Yeah, but Lainey Wilson, she won Entertainer of the Year. She won Album of the Year. She won all the major awards, mm -hmm. Female Vocalist of the Year. And uh, and that was with her never being on, headlining a major tour. She was Crazy. just the opening act for Luke uh, uh, Luke Combs, so, yeah. um, which was another great concert that came yeah. this year. Yeah. yeah, all right, let's talk about concerts that came here. We were yeah. so lucky this year to have I, so I think, many good concerts. I think part of it had to do with the fact that we got the new reimagined kind of uh, uh, the, the tennis stadium. The, yeah, Credit uh, One. Credit, Credit One Stadium. And they just pushed a lot of shows there because every major show that people were talking about nationwide seemed to come through Credit One Stadium yeah. this year. Yeah. So, it, yeah, it was a huge year. My favorite, surprisingly, though, because a little thing about me, this is my 25th year at Weasel. Um, Congrats. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> humble brag, as you say. Humble <laughs> brag. You also got a star on that walk of fame or whatever you Yeah, got. yeah. Well, uh, did North Charleston. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it, 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 we had so many just great shows that, that come through, but my favorite, surprisingly, was uh, Sam Hunt. Wow. Because I never stay till the end of a concert. Like, I've been doing He's this too so. Cool. I've been, no, I'm just ready to go. <laughs> He doesn't want to wait in that line leaving Credit One Stadium. <laughs> That's right. So I'll usually, by the time I take folks backstage to meet the folks in the. <laughs> <laughs> then humble brag, humble and, brag. And, and then I'll just uh, I'm usually in my car by the time the the headliner takes the stage mm -hmm. 
Stayed through the end. But Sam Hunt, he had no pyro, no special lighting, nothing special he's other so than this good. guy just killing it. Yeah, he's so and, good. And my wife stayed until the very end. And then we ended up staying to the end of Chris Stapleton, too, but he's just a whole other so beast. Good. But that show was the hottest show I've ever been to in my life. Like, it was oh, unsafe how yeah, hot it was. Yeah, And there were strange smells, too. I don't know if you noticed any. <laughs> what that was. Well, I think I do. <laughs> Whatever that means. I think folks that were there knows what no It was very hot. Yeah, so yeah, a little it was bit very more hot and a little smelly. Year. A little yeah. smelly. Yeah. Um, my favorite show was Kenny Chesney. It was honestly one of my favorite nights in Charleston this year. It was and, that's a and great... Kelsey Ballerini, by the way. Oh, two yeah. of my favorite artists of all time. Mm -hmm. So that was amazing. All right, and speaking of great artists, yeah. Uh, we have another great artist coming here to the Low Country. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Just a few weeks away. The Weasel is bringing in. Brett, Brett Young. Young. This is going to be an acoustic one night only thing. It's a, it's different than any other Brett uh, Young song that you've seen. Mm -hmm. I mean, a show that you've seen because he's going to come in in a stool, just a guitar, nice. telling stories and, and playing songs. It's so cool. I love that song. Sleep Without You, one of my favorite country songs ever, yeah. Brett Young. Um, that's going to be amazing. So January in 26th. In case you didn't know. In case you didn't know. He's going to be here on January 26th. Oh, that was a good one. Um, January 26th. North Charleston Performing Arts Center. Tickets yeah. are on sale now. Yeah, go get them now. And and these tickets that we do for these acoustic series, and we're planning to do like 10 this year nice. with artists, Brett size and bigger. Awesome. Um, in fact, I know what the next one is, and I'm <gasps> shocked. I'm, I can't tell you, though, yet, but Come we will on. soon. We'll tell you right after Brett Young. All right, all right, let's get to New Year's really quick. Oh, yeah. Because CBS is doing a great New Year's show. Um, we It's very country-focused. You'll see these are all the people. Al King is yeah. hosting it. We're going to go through it again. Basically, Morgan Wallen. every yeah. uh, Tom artist. Shrett, uh -huh. And who else? I'll see here. Everybody. And it'll be Lady Lady Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got, we Just read the names while we tell you about every it. Every artist pretty much in country music right now is going to be performing on CBS Party. for New Year's Eve. So... If you want something great to watch with some great music in Nashville, um, turn on CBS. And with this number right of artists, if this number of artists, it starts tonight. Pretty much. They're going to be going actually through 2025 with this number of artists. They have so many Look artists this. performing. This is great. All live from Nashville. It's it's a big night for country, and it's right here on CBS on, on Live 5. Yes. So. All right, Rick. Well, thank you so much yeah. for being here with me this year. Well, thank you for having me. And big me. things in 2024. Hopefully, Darius will be sitting right here. In 2024. Fingers you, crossed, you right? Him? You do. Oh, oh, you're hoping I'll get Darius. Yeah. Well, we'll see what we can do. All right, we'll see. Thanks, yeah. Rick. Thank you. <laughs> Happy New Year.